Good evening, class. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Okay, good to see everybody. How are you? I'm fine, Miss. I'm fine. Thank you. Yeah, it's good to hear. How about the rest of you? How are you? I'm fine, Miss. Uh, a little sick, but no problem. Oh, you're sick too? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a it's a bummer to be sick. It really is. Um, yeah, hopefully you'll you'll get better soon. Are you are you taking medicine? Uh, not yet. Not yet. Yeah, no. maybe. Maybe if you um, you should start soon, and and you will feel better. Yeah, it's it's not it's not fun to be. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Okay, and um, Carlos, um, Alberto, how are you? I fine, Miss. Thank you. Good to I, hear. I have a little. I have a little uh, sleep, <laughs> but. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah oh, but, you mean uh, you're sleepy? Don't worry. The sleepy, yes. Ah, okay, okay. Yes, <laughs> yes. You're sleepy. Yeah. I, I, I woke up. I woke up. Uh, very early. Uh, for the uh, for. I am. At four a.m. Oh yes. yeah. Yes. That's why. That's why I'm. I, 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 I feel sleepy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but. Don't worry. I understand. Yeah. It's not easy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Very good. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I know. Well, um this these two hours will, will go by quickly, so don't worry. <laughs> okay. Um, hello, Anna Victoria. <laughs> okay. How are you? Good. good. Yeah? Okay. Good. How was your day? Excuse me. How was your day? Um, my day was very um with very activities. <laughs> oh, with with lots of activities. Mm hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is that good? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Okay. Well, um, yeah, sometimes when you when you have a very uh busy schedule like that, then um it's it's the day goes by very quickly. So that that's good. That's good. Okay, excellent. And um hello Denise, Denise Alejandra, how are you? Hello, everybody. Hi. Very good. Thank you. Hello. Oh, okay, good. Good evening. good evening. So how was your day, Denise? It was very hard. <laughs> oh yeah? Why? Yeah. I had a lot of work today. Oh that's that's um, that's good because I have a job. So <laughs> Oh yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I I I totally agree with you. Yeah, uh, I mean, sometimes it's difficult, but hey, at least we have a job, right? So um, there are many, many people that don't have jobs and people yeah. that are, you know, very, very well trained and everything, but they don't have, they can't find a job. So, you know, having a job is, is, is uh, really I something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. Okay, yeah, that's great. Okay, very good. Okay, guys, um, just a reminder that we need to have our cameras on. So if we could turn on the cameras, that would be wonderful. Okay. 
All right. So I know there are some some situations that um don't allow, you know, but but if you can please turn on the camera so we can we can see you. All right. And um I'm going to be taking right now the attendance. Okay. Um Wait, just give me a moment. Okay. So, Ana Victoria Galan? Yes, sí. Okay, very good. Asalia Melanie Portillo? Yes, and good evening, everybody. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. Okay, Carlos Alberto Or. Orrego? I'm here, Miss. Okay, wonderful. Carlos Elisier Dimas? Hello, Miss. I'm here. All right, wonderful. Denise Alejandra Zuniga? Present. Wonderful. Uh, Diana Jamilet Maravilla? Present, teacher. Excellent. Edith uh, Adilia Hernandez? Present. Excellent. Emerson Adiel Reyes? No. Emerson Adiel Reyes? No. Okay. Um, Ismael Ernesto Hoya? Present teacher. Excellent. Jorge Ernesto Hernandez? Present teacher. Wonderful. Marlon Daniel Miranda Landa Verde? Present teacher. Okay. Um, can you turn on the camera, Marlon? One moment, please, teacher. Okay. I am working. Oh, okay. Just just some um, so that uh, we can see just for the um okay, yeah, perfect. All right, thank you. Is this that for the attendance we really need to see your faces? Okay, um, so um thank you very much. And Mayra Liz. Elizabeth Lasso. Okay, thank you. And thank you for connecting. I can see that you are on your way, but thank you for connecting. And uh, Raquel Elizabeth de la Rosa. Present. Thank you. Sandra Yvette Mendoza de, de, for, de Flores. Good evening, teacher. I'm here. Wonderful, thank you, Sandra. And uh, Sarah Rachel Salazar. Present, yes. teacher. Wonderful, thank you. And Sergio Chamorro Cal Calero. Present, teacher. Wonderful. Vilma Elizabeth Aquian. Vilma Elizabeth. No. Okay. All right. Wonderful. Thank you guys for connecting on time. Um, that's wonderful. We only have two people that are absent right now, but hopefully they connect later. Okay. All right, guys. Um, okay. So uh, what we're going to do right now um, is we're going to start with um, our presentation. PowerPoint presentation. Please tell me if you can see my PowerPoint presentation. Can you see it? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, wonderful. So this is course, oh, oh, sorry. Let's go back, I don't know what happened. Yeah. Back in guys, okay, there it is. Okay, so this is the course English for Work program. It's day number three and the date is Thursday, May 18th, 2023. Your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero. Okay, so let's start. First of all, um, something I really need you guys to get 
used to is to be asking things in English. So let's try to eliminate as much of Spanish as possible. So when I ask you, for example, any questions, you can answer, excuse me, can you repeat that? Okay, excuse me, can you repeat that? Everybody, can you do that with me? Can you also repeat? Excuse me, can you repeat that? Everybody? Excuse me, can you repeat that? 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 Excellent, okay, good. And what does that mean in Spanish? Excuse me, can you repeat that? What does that mean? Disculpe, puede repetir eso? Exactly. Disculpe, puede repetir eso? Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Can you speak more slowly? Can you, can you speak more can you speak slowly? Can you speak more slowly? More slowly. More slowly. Mm -hmm. Very good. Um, all right. Next we have, oh, sorry. What does that mean? Can you speak more slowly? What does that mean? Que si puede es... hablar más lento. Yeah. Uh -huh. Sí, puede, puede hablar más lento, más despacio. Okay, very good. Okay, excellent. Uh, can you spell? Everybody, can you spell? Can you repeat that? How do you spell? Can you spell? How do you spell? How do you spell? How do you spell? How do you spell? Yeah. How do you spell? How do you spell? And what does that mean? How do you spell? Como tú puedes deletrear. Como lo deletreas. Yeah. Yeah. Como se deletrea. Como se deletrea. Okay. All right, next. Uh, what's the answer for number four? What's the, what's the answer, answer for, number number for the number four? What's the answer for number four? Yeah, very good. What's the answer for number four? What's re the answer for number four? Yeah, exactly. Very good. Um, what does that mean? What's the answer for number four? ¿Cuál es la respuesta al número cuatro? ¿Cuál es la respuesta de, al, a la número cuatro? Very good. Mm -hmm. um, how do you say in English? 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 Very good. What does this mean? ¿Cómo se dice en inglés? Yeah. Um, actually, yeah. ¿Cómo se dice? Is la palabra. ¿Cómo se dice? Mm -hmm. Tal cosa en inglés. For example. Um, ¿cómo, uh, so how do you say, um, I don't know, uh, estufa? in English. Okay, so that you would say the word in Spanish. Okay. Yeah. Then we have what does mm mean? What does mean? What does mean? What does mean? Good. What does mean? What does mean? What does mean? What does mean? Yeah. And, and uh, what is this in Spanish? ¿Qué significa? ¿Qué significa? Uh -huh. ¿Qué significa? Y decimos la, la palabra. For example, um, what does, um, what does, a, I don't know, cream mean? What does cream mean? Okay, and the last one, how do you pronounce this word? How do you, how pronounce, do you pronounce this word? 
Yeah. How do you pronounce this word? How do you pronounce it? This word. Yeah. Everybody, how do you pronounce this word? How do you, do you pronounce it? this word? Very good. Okay. So, um, what does that mean in Spanish? ¿Cómo se pronuncia esta palabra? Yeah. ¿Cómo se pronuncia esta palabra? Very good. Okay. So some of the words, these are some of the phrases that you can use to not speak in Spanish, but to get help in English. Okay. So we can avoid speaking Spanish if we use these phrases. Any questions at the at this point? Anything you want me to pronounce? Yes, teacher. What do you want me to pronounce? Anything in particular you want me to pronounce? No? Nothing? Okay. Okay, we're going to continue then. So yesterday, we started talking about organization charts, right? Remember that? Organization charts? Yes. Yeah? Okay. Yes, yes. So tell me, why are organization charts important for businesses? Can you tell me about that? Why is it important? For, you know, yeah. How do you say? Mm -hmm. what, um, why is it important? Uh, can, can, uh, I don't know, can be, it's important because uh, I know, I know how the structure of my company and yeah. I know who is the, who is my, my boss and my my staff of the okay. company. Very good. Okay, excellent. Another reason? Yeah, I think um, it's important because um, we know, <clears throat> um, I'm sorry, oh, how do you say? Uh, linea jerarchica in English. Um, a higher um hierarchy line lineup okay um lo que quiero decir en español es que conoces el la línea jerárquica en, de la organización uh, um this important because uh, you know the um, <laughs> the, the higher uh, hierarchy lineup Hierarchy line up. Yes. Uh -huh. Line up. Okay. Okay. Very good. Okay. Anything else? Any other reasons? Maybe I think it's important for because uh, is the order in posi position. Como se dice? Position. Position. Positions. Um, Positions. Okay. Is eh, como ordenar es importante porque es como un ordenamiento en las posiciones, algo así. Ok, um, ok, so it organizes the job yeah. positions. Yes. Ok, all right, very good. Yeah. Anything okay. else? Uh, the teacher, the structure chart is important for take a decisions, the company. Mm -hmm. Okay, why? Why take decisions? Try, 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 and, try to say it. No worries. If you don't make it, if you don't do it perfect, uh, it's okay. The chart is the, como la máxima autoridad, no sé. Maximum authority. Maximum authority, uh-huh. Okay, so, so, uh -huh. the chart is? They take a decision for the company. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. 
okay? And also that way you know, like all everybody, all the staff know who they need to, um, who who they need to go to for anything that they need, right? So who is responsible for each area that they need, right? So so it's 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 also important to be able to know who's in charge, right? Now, are you familiar with your the organization chart of your company? Uh, in my case, in my case, miss uh, no, no, in my okay, case, no, no, no. Okay, what about the rest of you? Por cierto, chicos, um, solo recordarles, necesitamos cámaras encendidas siempre, ¿verdad? Hay algunos que otros que todavía no han encendido su cámara. Ajá, uh -huh. okay, so what about the rest of you? Are you familiar with uh, the organization yeah. chart? Yeah, in my case, um, a few years ago, uh -huh. I made I made an organization chart for my company. Oh, you did. Interesting. Okay, very good. So you you are very familiar with it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. 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 All right. What about the rest of you? Are you familiar with it? Let me let me ask individually. Uh, Vienna Jamilet, are you familiar? with your organization chart of your company? Diana Jamile, can you hear me? Hola, hello teacher. Hi. Okay. Can you hear me? Re Repeat, teacher. Okay. Are you familiar with the organization chart of your company? Sí. Are you family wide in conflict? Organize the chart of your company. Mm -hmm. uh, how is important? Yeah, so we are we are discussing this question here. Are you mm -hmm. familiar with the organization chart of your company, Vienna? Do you know, no. do you know the organization chart of your company? Um, um, I don't know. The chart. You don't no. know it? Okay. Okay. In my case. Yes. Sir? I think. I, I, I think. Yes. In my case. Yes. In, in board. Boss. Eh, eh, su jefe. No sé cómo se dice. Okay, this the the uh, sub um we we can we can say that they are um they're managers right so boss the manager mm -hmm. uh, customer service mm -hmm. uh, um, assistant the customer service and develop label okay Okay, so like the the workers. Yes. Okay. Develop de label. Es que termina en desarrolladores oh. de de digamos de muestra. Uh -huh. De muestra. Sí, son muestras de etiquetas, de etiquetas de ropa. Label de clothes. De donde traen las tallas y todo eso. Okay. Mm. Mm. Label, label, etiquette. Mm. I don't, I don't know how. So they are label. Um, mm, I'm not sure. El, so they, they like they make the labels. Yes, they they create, they create them. Mm, I don't understand. 
Eh, o sea, ¿qué, ¿qué es lo que hacen ellos? Ah, es que son como el desarrollo, el último es como el desarrollo de las etiquetas, pero ahí hacen etiquetas de las que llevan aquí atrás la ropa, que llevan oh, las joyas y todo eso. Oh, tags. Uh -huh. Como el diseño. Yeah, so... Um, so they, they, they create tags. We call them tags. Um, already in the chat. Yeah, the tag. Yeah, okay. Okay. All right. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, what about the rest of you? Do you know? For example, Denise, do you know? Are you familiar with the organization chart of your company? I am familiar, but only like in my life. Oh, okay. And okay. So it's a big company and there, there are a lot of departments. Mm. And, and so, I don't know how to say subdepartamentos. Subdepartments. There are thank you. There are a lot of sub subdepartments. So mm. um, we are it's a bank, so there are a lot there are a lot of employees. I see. Okay, very good. <laughs> I see, no problem. Okay, so all right, so talking about organization charts. Um, let's oops. Let's take a look at an organization chart okay, of this company. So who is at the top of this organization chart? According to this, this organization chart here, who is at the top? Floor manager. The floor manager, very good. And who is beneath? the floor manager. Who is beneath? Who is, who is beneath is the floor the manager? Production? Floor manager or no? Acor according to this, according to this chart here. Safety engineer. Safety engineer. Very good, and? Engineer. And maintenance chief. chief. And the maintenance chief, good. Okay, chief. the maintenance chief is responsible for whom? Who does he? Maintenance who? personnel. Good, maintenance personnel. Maintenance, maintenance pers personnel. Maintenance personnel. Yes, maintenance personnel. So he is responsible for the maintenance personnel. And the safety engineer, he's responsible for who? For the supervisor. For the supervisor, good. And who is beneath the supervisor? Who's beneath? My, my, my machine operators. operators. Yes, machine operators. And assemble. Yes. Assemblers. Assemblers, very good. And the drivers. And the truck drivers, very good. Okay. Do you have questions about this vocabulary? Yes. <laughs> uh, uh, can you say um what is the meaning of assemblers? Ah, very good. Okay. Assembler is the the uh, the people that are responsible for making a product putting the product together okay so to give you an example um i don't know if i have something here that i can show you oh, oh okay so let, let's 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 say a bicycle okay let's say we have a bicycle so the bicycle to make the bicycle the bicycle has many components you have the wheels, right? 
you have the tires, you have the handles, we have the Break. the, the brakes, yeah, we have the um the saddle, et cetera, et cetera. So to make a bike, you have to put all the pieces together to create the bike. The people that put those things together are the assemblers. Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. Anything else? How do you say my my things? My, uh, can you repeat that? My yeah. things. Yeah, yeah, that's that's good. Um yeah, this this word here is actually a little bit tricky um because it uh, we don't pronounce all of the letters. We say maintenance. Maintenance. Can you repeat that? Maintenance. 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 Yeah. Maintenance. 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 Mm -hmm. Good, good. Anything else? No, no, no other questions? No, miss. No? No, teacher. Okay. All right. Um, all right. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to practice this conversation. Um, so what you can do is, uh, everybody, we can put our microphones in silence and just practice the conversation or repeat it but in your own house like with um with the microphone closed right and um because otherwise we're gonna have a little bit too much um eh, echoes okay so here we go hi roxana welcome to rex My name is Jessica. I'm the industrial safety engineer. Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plant. Okay, let's let's make sure that our um that our microphones are closed please. I see I'll be part of the maintenance department. Will I be responsible to you? Great. Our departments work together. But the maintenance chief is in charge. Of directing your department. You'll be responsible to him. Thank you, Jessica. May I call you if I need help? Sure. Okay. All right, guys. So now you can open up your microphones and ask me any questions about 
um, pronunciation. If there's any words that you don't, actually, you know what? Um, it's probably easier for pronunciation questions if you write it in the chat. So you can write in the chat any words that you don't understand. I'm going to address them all at the end. Just two words. Okay. All right. So these two words we pronounce like this safety. Safe T. Safety. Okay. Safety. The other one is maintenance. Maintenance. Okay. All right. Um, oh, there's one more. Um, Responsible, responsible. Any, any other questions? Okay. All right. Now, what about um, words that you don't understand the meaning? You can write in the chat words that you don't understand what they mean, and I can explain the meaning. You can write in the chat. No? Everything is, is clear? All the words are okay? Okay. Anything else? Okay. All right. In that case, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be sharing this conversation with the group. And I want you to um I want you to work with a partner and you're going to be practicing the conversation. Okay. So one time you're going to be um you're going to be Jessica. The other time you're going to be Roxana. Okay. Do we understand? Yes, miss. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. So no, no questions then. Okay. All right. In that case, guys, um, I'm going to uh, put you guys into breakout rooms. And okay, 
Uh, Maida Elizabeth, are you there? Okay, perfect. Okay, and Raquel Elizabeth, are you there? Okay, wonderful. Yes. Okay, great, perfect. Okay, so in that case, I'm going to open up the rooms um, right now so you can practice. Dr. Safari Engineer. Thank you, Sergio. Nice to meet you. My depart department is re respons responsible for keeping the cipher of the plan. I see. I'll be part of the maintenance department. Will I be responsible to you? Way our departments work together, but the maintenance chief is in charge of directing your department. You'll be responsible to him. Thank you, Sergio. May I call you if I need your help? Yeah. Uh, okay. Sure. Yes. Okay, let's change. Uh, I'll start and you continue. Okay. Hi, Sergio. Welcome to Rex. My name is Ismael. I'm the industrial safety engineer. Thank you, Ismael. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plant. I see. I'll be part of the maintenance department. Will I be responsible to you? Great. Our departments work together, but the maintenance chief is in charge of directing, directing your department. You'll be responsible to him. Thank you, Ismael. May I call you if Ahí no, no logro ver qué dice abajo. If I need help. Ah, uh, if. No logro ver qué me dice. No logro. Need help. I call. Thank you, Jessica. Thank you, Jessica. May I call you? Uh, may I call you if you need help? Sure. Okay, change. Change. Hi, Roxana. Welcome to Rex. My name is Jessica. I'm industrial safety engineer. Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plant. I see. I'll be part of the maintenance department. Will I be responsible to you? Great. Our department work, work together, but the maintenance chief is a charge of directing your department. You'll be responsible to him. Thank you, Jessica. Can I call you if I need help? Oh, sure. Okay. okay. Uh, um, um, Yes, uh, uh, Roxanne, Roxanne, I'm Roxanne. <laughs> okay, okay. Hi, Roxanne. Welcome to Rex. My name is Jessica. I'm the industrial safety engineer. Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the safe, safety of the plant. 
I see. I will I will be part of the maintenance department. Will I be responsible to you? Great. Our departments work together, but the maintenance chief is in charge of the rating. Your department, you'll be responsible to him. Thank you, Jessica. May I call you if you need help? Sure. Okay. Change. Okay. Okay. Hi, Roxana. Welcome to Rex. My name is Jessica. I'm the industrial safety engineer. Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plan. I see. I'll be part of the maintenance department. Will I be responsible to you? Great. Our departments work together, but the maintenance chief is in charge of directing your department. You will be responsible to, responsible to him. Thank you, Jessica. May I call you if I need help? Oh, sure. Okay. All right. So I think everybody is back, the majority of you. Any questions so far? No. No? It's all clear? No, miss. No, miss. Everything clear. Okay. Very good. Okay. All right, guys. We're going to continue then. So now that you um that you heard the or, or you heard and you read the conversation, um let's let's answer some questions. So Please tell me if you can see the PowerPoint. You see it? Yes. Yes, yes, miss. yes miss. Okay. So, yes, so we have the exercises here. So um, discuss the answers to the question. So who is responsible for keeping the safety of the personnel in the plant? Who's responsible for that? Uh, Jessica. It's Jessica. Jessica? Yes. You sure? Yes. Okay, very good. Excellent. Um, yeah. Um, and who is in charge of directing the maintenance personnel? Maintenance chief. Good. Maintenance chief. Very good. Uh -huh. the, the maintenance chief. The maintenance chief. Yes, the maintenance chief. Okay, excellent. Um, and who is Roxana responsible to? Is Jessica. Mm. Is Roxana. Jessica? 
Pero Roxana. Hay, 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 Roxana hay, responsible hay, to. So it means, what this question means is, a, who who does she have to, um, who is her boss, in other words? Who is Roxana's boss? Uh, she see a part of the maintenance department. Okay, so who is Roxana responsible to? So who is her boss? Maintenance chief. Exactly, the maintenance chief. So, yes. okay, so let me let me write this down so that you guys get it. So, who is responsible for keeping the safety of the person on the company? Jessica, right? Jessica is responsible for keeping the safety of the personnel in the plant. Okay, so that's a complete answer. Okay. All right, next question was, who's in charge of directing the maintenance personnel? And the answer is the... Chief. Yeah, maintenance. Maintenance chief. Maintenance, yeah. Maintenance. Maintenance, maintenance chief, yeah. The maintenance chief is responsible for um for what? Sorry, sorry, no, I'm not responsible. Is in charge. Is in charge sorry. of directing the maintenance personnel. Okay. Who is Roxana responsible to? Who is Roxana responsible to? I think yes. Maintenance chief. The maintenance chief. Okay, so Roxana is responsible to the maintenance chief. Chief. Good. Okay, and finally, um, look at the organization chart above. So the one that we saw before. Who are the safety engineer? And the maintenance uh, chief responsible too. So this is from the one. Um, let's see if we can bring it up. The here. maintenance maintenance personnel. Maintenance personnel. So the floor look, manager, the safety engineer, and the maintenance chief responsible too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who? Who are they responsible floor to? Floor manager. Floor manager. Exactly. They mm -hmm. have to, they're responsible to mm -hmm. over here. Oh, all right, let, me, let me change the color. Right here, right? So these two, these two people, mm -hmm. floor they are responsible to the floor manager. Okay, and they are responsible for, for example, a safety engineer responsible for the supervisor. The maintenance chief is responsible for the maintenance personnel. Okay, is that clear, everybody? Yes, yeah? yes, teacher. Yes. yes. Okay, so. Okay, so having said that, so we would answer Floor manager. the maintenance uh, chief and the, actually it should be the safety, 
the safety engineer. Engineer and the maintenance chief are responsible to the floor manager. Okay, Pretty that would long. be the yeah, that'd be the answer. Okay. Any questions about this? Oops. Not featured. So it's clear? Okay. Mm -hmm. So just to make sure that it is clear, let me ask you some questions. So when we say responsible for, when we say responsible for, what does that mean in Spanish? Responsible for. ¿Quién es el responsable de? Yes. El responsable de? Sale. O el responsable por. Okay. No, no, no. Is that clear? Responsible for? Yes. Okay, good. When we say responsible to, what does that mean? Responsable también. Responsible to. Mm. O responsable a. No. ¿De quién es responsable? ¿A quién responde? Exactly. ¿A quién responde? Ante quién. O oh, ante quién. Okay. Do we understand? So responsible for means that you have the responsibility of having people under you. Okay. So you are on top and the people are below you. Responsible to, it means that you have a superior. Okay. So responsible okay. for people under you. Responsible to people above you. Do we understand that? Yes. Yeah? I do. Yes, miss. Yes, I do. Yeah? yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, very good. Now, um, I want you, oh, oh, oh one more time, one more, I forgot. What does it mean in charge of? In charge of. Uh, it's like encargado. Encargado uh, de. Yeah, very good. Encargado de. Mm -hmm, exactly. Okay. Or oh, oh, right. oh, 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 can be a, a cargo. A cargo de. Uh -huh. Encargado de o a cargo de. It's the same idea. Okay. All right. Um, okay. All right. Very good. Now, now, I want you to also notice something else. After we use responsible for, for example, we'd say responsible for keeping. In charge of directing. Yeah. Keeping, keeping is como seguir. Mantener. 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 Responsible. Es responsable para mantener la seguridad. Yes. Yes. Very good. Okay, now, do you remember that we talked about this? This was the first class that we talked about it. Do you remember what, do you remember that we talked about um, this kind of words oh, yeah. that finish in yes, ING? I yeah? Yes, what I are remember they, that. What are they called? Oh. Jaron. Jaron. Very good. Bravo. <laughs> Very good memory. Okay. Excellent. 
Good. Today we're going to be talking about gerunds. Another another uh, way that people refer to gerunds is the ing form. Okay. Um, personally, I don't really like using uh, the form ing because um, there are many ing forms, and the one that we are particularly talking about today is the gerund. That's why I like to be more specific. But the the uh, manual uses the, the word ing form. So I'm going to continue using ing form. But I want you to understand that there are many ing forms. And today we're talking specifically about the gerund. OK? Is that clear for everybody? So gerunds are ing forms. Okay, but not all ing forms are gerunds. Okay. Yes. Uh, yeah. uh, can I use in uh, sorry? Can I use in the in the question number one? Can I use an um, infinity? For example, responsible for for to keep. Or, no. No. And that, no. And that's exactly what we're going to be learning about today. Why it's not possible to say uh, for to keep. Okay. That's exactly the next part of our lesson. Okay, so I'm gonna okay. clear the drawings and I'm going to go. So how to use the ING forms after prepositions? Actually, déjeme quitar eso un momentito porque estoy viendo que es, se sale de la pantalla. Lo voy a arreglar. Si no, no van a poder. Verlo. Solo un momentito. Okay, let's try this again. Let's see if you can even see. Okay, oh, I see you, right? Okay, so how to use the ing forms after prepositions. Do you guys remember what are prepositions? Can you guys give me examples of prepositions? Uh, for. On. For. Oh. To. Well. In. On. Behind. Mm-hmm. Very good. Okay, so let me let me write this down. Okay, so we have uh, for, on, behind, you said. What was the other ones? About. Hmm? About. About. Mm -hmm. Good. Another one? At. 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 Two. 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 Under preposition. Under? Hmm? Anything else? Next. Uh, no, next is not a preposition. In? In front. Into? Hmm? In okay, into okay. Anything else? No. Okay. In so in front. Um. Yeah. Um. Except that here we're 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 not really talking about prepositions of place, but just prepositions in general. Okay. So um. All right. So here we have these prepositions. After these prepositions. When we have a verb, so it says here, look at the questions in exercise three and complete the statements below. So we use a verb plus the S or the ING. What have we been talking about? An S or an ING? ING? Mm hmm. Exactly. ING. Right. Very good. 
So we've been talking about ing's, right? So we use the verb plus an ing after prepositions. After prepositions. I'm sorry. Let's change the cover. After prepositions, like, for example, in some examples of this would be for, of, or, or of. of. Okay. Or. And yeah, or. It, just, just a for or of. Only those two. Okay. So those are some examples. Okay. Um, and some they give you some examples here, like um, be responsible for, be in charge of, be accountable for, committed to, dedicated to. So, um, Notice so here we have responsible for, we have the word, the preposition for. Here we have be in charge of, we have the preposition of. Here we have accountable for. Here we have committed to and dedicated to. Okay, so what does it mean be responsible for? What does that mean in Spanish? Be responsible for. Ser responsable de o por. Okay, good. Ser responsable de o por. Good. Be in charge of. Be in charge of. What does that mean in Spanish? Ser encargado. A, a cargo de. Estar a cargo de. Good. Be accountable for. Be accountable for. Any uh, ideas? Account is contabilidad. Count. Um, no. Not exactly. But but it does have the idea that you um, have to count something. You have to count. Mm -hmm. Any ideas? No idea. No, to, okay, no problem. Be accountable for means ser responsable de. So what we're talking about here is the, is the fact that if somebody is responsible for something, eh, they are the ones that need to make the they have to count everything yeah so that's why we say accountable for okay it's like be responsible a uh, be the one who um if something goes wrong then you are responsible for it you take responsibility that's basically what it is to take responsibility of something okay does that make sense It's like, it's basically saying tomar responsabilidad de. Okay. What's the difference with responsible for? Um, it, it has a very similar meaning, but be accountable for. Well, if you think about it, if you say eh, tomar responsabilidad por. Miss, I what think is, it's what, accountable. Uh, accountable um, versus uh, responsibility is accountable is, is more formal, I think. I, I don't know. Um, yeah, a little bit, yeah. Definitely, it's 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 more formal. 
but it also has a connotation that um that you are the one who um a who takes responsibility if things go right or wrong so not like you you're not just the one in charge but you are also the one it's like when you say in spanish ponen la cara yeah? so be be accountable for means that you are the one who if things go wrong you are the one who's responsible for it too. Can Como el que rinde say, cuentas. Uh -huh. for, exactly. example, for example, can I say I be accountable for if my my brother uh, commit a mistake? Mm, yeah, so, ex yeah, ex yeah, exactly. So, yeah. Um, and, and, and actually... I, and actually, because, uh, sorry, yes, 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 yes Carlos. Yes. Uh, because I, I, I put that my face. <laughs> mm, for, for okay, people. I see what you're yes. saying. Yeah, uh, kind of. This idea. It's it's actually I I don't I didn't I didn't I realize who said it, but one of the girls said rendir cuentas, right? And that's basically the idea. That's why it says accountable. Accountable comes from accounting, right? De, de contabilidad. Y lo mismo, rendir cuentas. Tenemos que, hasta, uh, tenemos una cuenta que, 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 que cuadrar, digamos. Y uno tiene que poner la cara si algo falta. ¿Verdad? Okay, so that's be accountable for. So it means that you have the responsibility. And if something goes wrong, you you are the one who 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 says it's my I I'm going to assume any responsibility. Okay. okay. Yeah. So for example, if I if it's different to be responsible for something and and accountable for something. I may be responsible, but I do not want to take responsibility of if, if something goes wrong. So I may not want to be accountable for something. Okay? But yes, they have they do overlap a lot, right? Because if you are accountable for something, it's because you're responsible for something. Okay? Maybe um a supervisor is accountable for his and their team. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Okay. So if, if something goes wrong, he's the one who has to solve the problem and he has to take responsibility and say, Oh, we made a mistake. I mean, so I have to fix it. Right. So I don't blame another person. I fix it myself. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Now committed to. What does that mean? Committed to. And it's it's not, does not come de comité. No es comité. Encomendado a. Mm, no. <laughs> not no. really. Com Actually. Comprometido. Uh -huh. Yes. Exactly. Committed to is comprometido. Mm. Comprometido okay. a. Mm -hmm. Okay. Compromising. No, that uh, those are what we call false friends. O sea, son palabras que pare se parecen en los dos idiomas, pero tienen significados diferentes. Okay, so committed to means uh, dedicado. Oh, oh sorry. Um, ¿Cuál es la palabra que usamos? Comprometido. Comprometido, sí. Yeah. Comprometido a hacer algo. Committed to. Okay, compromise. A compromise has the idea that I have um I have one point of view and I have and you have another point of view and we're gonna meet each other in the middle. Okay, so I don't um so I have this point of view, you have this point of view, I don't go over here and you don't go over here instead we meet in the middle that's com that's a uh, compromise in spanish compromise how do you say compromise in spanish compromise. no compromise 
Se acaba de explicar que compromise no es lo mismo de compromiso. No. Uh -huh. No. What's compromise? I don't understand. <laughs> And in the mirror or I love you. Uh, okay. I understand. Mm -hmm. I understand um two two parts, mm -hmm. but this don't don't you know um require but I don't I don't know how to say in Spanish. Mm -hmm. Compromise. Okay. Um es como llegar a una un arreglo, un acuerdo. Okay. Compromise es eso. O sea, es como llegar a un... Uh, o, oh, ajá. O, oh, yeah, llegar a un acuerdo. Um, it, so... That's for, compromise. That's compromise, yeah. So, it's compromise. Okay. Yeah, so that's why... No, oh. no, no se confundan, no se confundan. Eso es lo que les estoy diciendo, que eso es lo que llamamos en inglés yes. false friends. Porque son palabras que se parecen pero tienen significados diferentes, ¿ok? So, um, yeah, so compromise means, a, so if I want to compromise, por ejemplo, vaya, um, no sé, yo estoy manejando y, uh, y le doy a su carro y entonces um, le tengo que pagar una cantidad de dinero por, por el daño que le causa a su carro y usted me dice, ok, deme unos... Eh, 200 dólares. Le digo, no, yo no puedo, no le puedo pagar 200 dólares. Además de eso, no, eso no cuesta, el arreglo no cuesta 200 dólares. Le voy a dar, le, le voy a dar solo 75. No, no, eso es más, eh, muy poco, no me va a costar eso. Vaya, vale, pues entonces le voy a dar 100. Vaya, vale, pues está bien. That's compromise. That's right, okay. Okay. I know, I get no, it. Meet yes. in the middle. Okay, meet yes, in the middle. It's like to get a contract. Exactly, uh, yeah, okay. But committed to, means, okay. committed to means comprometerse a. Okay, so be, be very careful not to confuse. Okay. And I come in to, for example, for example I a to, couple, a couple, a couple. Uh, I come in to learn learn English. English. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, I'm committed to learn to learning um, English. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Um, a couple of of, of guys, um, girlfriend. Um, Uh, get um Mario uh, how do you say in, in Spanish is a comp perdón no sé si es mi internet o pero no le puedo escuchar se, se escuchó cortado poder can you repeat that Uh, yes, um, I say a couple, a um, boyfriend and girlfriend, and they decide to get married. In Spanish, is se comprometieron. How do you say in English? Mm, yeah. Am I too? No. 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 <laughs> um, okay. Que me sale que está mal. Comprometerse. Ok. Um, Fiance. No. In relationship. Ok. So, comprometerse es to get engaged. To get engaged. With the relationship. In a relationship, yeah. Uh, uh -huh. In a relationship. Okay. To get engaged. Yeah, to get engaged. Engaged. So engaged I can... Is it's, it's like compromiso. 
comprometerse ya así como ah comprometerse ya yeah, ya yeah, exactly to get, to get married mm -hmm. to get married engaged engaged yeah so I could say I am engaged I am engaged estoy comprometida okay 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 good all right so that's a little bit about false friends okay uh let's talk about the last one dedicated to i think that one's easy that one's that one's quite similar to spanish dedicated to dedicated to it's, it's similar to spanish <laughs> yeah, didn't miedo. <laughs> English is so strange. <laughs> no, it's it's this one's similar to Spanish. Dedicado. Uh -huh, exactly. Dedicado. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Okay. Any other questions, guys? Com Community two is you still it just only a uh, um, work um, work or in a job uh, no in a, in a in the work or whatever no you can say in in, in any any committed to anything I'm committed okay. to learning English I'm committed okay. to um, losing weight okay. Um, I'm committed to, I'm committed Lost to you. Weight. I'm committed to you. I'm okay. committed. So, you, yeah, so it doesn't have to be necessarily in, in terms of work. Okay. It could be any, any, you, your commitment for anything. Okay. Now, so, okay. so we saw that after these expressions, they use words like of and for, we always use the ing form or the gerund, right? So, Okay, so these are the 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 words, right? The the um the verbs. Okay. Now we notice that in all of them we have a preposition, right? Which is either two or four. Sorry. Just give me a moment. So we have four of four, two, and two. So when we have verbs that finish with prepositions like for or of, the next word that we use will be a verb in the ing form. Okay, okay. or what we call a gerund. So to give you an example, we're going to say, be responsible for, um, uh, be responsible for, um, for, um, yeah, very good, cleaning. Okay, be responsible for cleaning. Be in charge of, be responsible of sorry be in charge of um driving mm -hmm. driving the, okay driving uh, um the truck okay be accountable for um for um moving the merchandise
uh, committed to learning more, dedicated to, um, dedicated to um, saving or making the making more money. <laughs> Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. Okay, so if you notice, all of these are verbs in the ing form. Okay, cleaning, driving, moving, learning, and making. Okay. Any questions? Miss, just yeah. just all of the just for the preposition, right? Yes, correct. Okay. Okay. Any other questions that you guys have? Okay. So to no. say that <laughs> who you report to, we so keep this in mind. When we're talking about who you report to, we use be responsible to or be accountable to. Okay? So if I have a superior, I'm responsible to them. Okay? Or I'm, or I could also say that I am accountable to. Responsible to. Yeah. Exact, exactly. Okay. Now, when I'm this is this is when we're talking about when you are when you who you report to. When we're talking about responsibilities, then we can use words like be responsible for, be in charge of, be accountable for. Okay. Any questions at this moment? No, please. No? Okay. All right, good. All right, in that case, we're going to get you guys to work on the exercises here. So we have complete the questions below with the appropriate verb form. So, I want you first of all to um, complete the complete the sentence with the correct form of the verb in parentheses. To give you an example, I'll, I'm going to do this one first with you. So, who is responsible for? And then we have the verb supervise. So, what would be the the answer? Who is responsible for? Supervising. Super supervising. Supervising. Yeah. Who is responsible for supervising the machine operators? And then and then after that, we're going to um answer the questions according to this chart, this organization chart. So looking at the machine operators. Checking. So who? Checking. Checking. Who is responsible for checking? Sorry, who is responsible for checking. supervising the machine operators? Looking at this, who's responsible for supervising the machine operators? Mm -hmm. Supervisor. Yeah. The oh, okay. yeah. supervisor. The re he's responsible for supervising. So the answer would be supervisors. Supervisor. Do we understand what we're going to be doing? So yes. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Okay, so I'm going to um share. 
this with you. Sharing. Yeah, I'm gonna share the 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 information with you so that you can um, work on it with a partner. Okay, so these are the the exercises. And um, and I'm also going to be sharing the um, the organizational chart. There it is. Okay, so I'm going to put you into groups. So you can work on those exercises right now. Okay, and we're gonna open it right about now. We are starting the number three work. Checking. Solo de ir después del IMG, ¿ah? No. Esas solo son preguntas. Ajá, pero es para definir quién es. Yo entiendo que lo que está en este proyecto es lo que así como hizo supervising, checking, preparing, selling, assisting, de ir a de manager, manager, no sé cómo. Sí, sí, ¿Cómo se cambia? Mm, sí. Teacher, can you explain, explain the, the exercise? Um, you have to just put the verbs in the correct form. Uh -huh. the verbs in parentheses, put them in the correct form, and then answer according to the um to the organization chart okay okay so the the verbs in parentheses put them in the correct form first mm -hmm. then look at the organizational chart and answer the questions okay thank you you're welcome okay. mm -hmm. we're starting is a cargo. Who is in okay. charge of? Quién está a cargo de? Who is in charge Check. of? Um, checking, yes. Checking the quality of the product. And in the chart, who is in charge checking the quality? The quality of the product. Um, oh, it would be quality control inspector. Uh, Who's in could, charge of checking the quality of products? Or products. Could, could, could be check. I don't know. No, we have to see the chart and pick the the correct answer. I think 
teacher, no, no. That's the... In... Uh, miss, in the in the number two, the answers it is who is the chance of checking? Mm -hmm. The yeah. quality of the product uh, in the end uh, could be check or other words. It has to be the verb in the ing form. Checking. So all the verbs have to be in the ing form, all of them. Mm. Okay, who is in charge of checking? It, I think it's checking. Is that correct, teacher? Yes, checking. Yes, the verb. The, it has to be in the verb in the ing form. So yes, okay. checking. Okay. But we have to answer the question too, right? Right. Okay. Uh, repeat, please. We have to. We have to complete the question and then answer the question. Yes. And um, I don't understand. Tenemos que. Tenemos que, uh, tenemos que completar la pregunta con el verbo ing. Ajá, por eso. Pero, tam, por, ajá, pero, eso. Pero, pero también hay que responderla. ¿Quién es el que está a cargo según el, el chart, el, el organigrama? Mm, ya, 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 hoy sí. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, in the second question, who is in charge of checking the quality of the product? I think it's quality quality control control inspector. But I am not sure. Mm, me too. Um, uh, is the quality control inspector the, the answer, teacher? <laughs> I, I'm not sure. Do, do, uh, um, do your best. And we're going to check the answers at the end, okay? Okay. So, okay. so don't worry about if it's right or wrong. Just try to figure it out according to the the, the chart, okay? okay? But you're you're doing good. You're doing good. You just have to continue doing what you're doing. Okay. Carlos. Uh, I don't know. Sería él. Luis, el contable for ceiling. Eh, chicos, um, tenemos ahí las, la, sus cámaras para que podamos. Edith, ¿tiene la cámara ahí para que pueda? O, o no, todavía no, ¿verdad? Edith. No, no. Ok. Hola. Vaya, ¿se acuerda que le dije que podíamos um, ingresar con otro dispositivo y utilizarlo como cámara? Sí. Ok, um, ¿ha intentado hacer eso? Sí, pero es que ahorita estoy en el trabajo. Ok, ok, pero, pero ¿sí va a poder hacer algo así? 
porque sí, sí necesitamos... Sí, ok, perfecto, perfecto, ok. All right, continue, go ahead. Teacher. Yes. Creo que es how do you say sell sell the number four the first um lo que quiero es cómo se dice How do you in say English. in English? How do you say? How do you say sell? Parents. How do no, you say? No, Sorry, I didn't understand. How do you say what? Um. Sell. Oh. Okay. You can write in the chat. Okay. Sell. So, the, sell. Um... Okay. So. Mm -hmm. okay. Hola, uh, estamos en la cuatro hora. Yes. The four. Yes. So is a comfortable for selling the product. Es sal, ajá, sal de parme, de parme, de parme. Yes. De... A las cinco, hoy, ¿qué decir, Charles? Answer es respuesta, creo. Answer. ¿De cuál me? ¿De, de, de cuál? Four. De five. Four. 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 The number five was short of assisting. Assisting. The, the assembler. Assembler. Yeah, square is somber. Okay, guys, um, so we're going to uh, check the answers. So please tell me if you can see.
my PowerPoint. You see it? Yes. Yes, teacher. Now not. <clears throat> In yes, this sorry. moment, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, hold on. Just give me a moment. Okay, let's try this again. Chicos, eh, solo recordarles, necesitamos sus cámaras encendidas. Veo que algunos la han apagado. Eh, entonces, <coughs> okay. So. Okay. Um, can you see it now? Now, yes. Now, yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. All right. So, yes, very good. Okay, so who is responsible for? For? Supervising. Good, supervising the machine, the machine operators. Who is in charge of? The Checking. Is, I have my check. Safe engineer. Okay. Uh, it's in charge of question two. Oh. Checking. 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 Very good. Of checking. Uh, uh the mm. quality of the products. Okay, good. Who's responsible for? Repairing. Mm. Uh, <coughs> repairing. Repairing. Very good. Repairing the problems. Who's repairing. accountable for? Selling. Sell, selling. Selling. Selling? Yeah, selling the product. Selling. Who's in charge of? Assisting. 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 Assisting the assemblers. And who's accountable for? Managing. Managing. Good. Okay. Managing. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, do we understand this part? All right. Yeah. It's clear? Okay. Yes. It's clear. Yeah. Okay. Good. All right. So now that we know that, let's answer the questions. Now that we got that done, let's answer it. So, um, okay. So who is responsible for supervising machine operators? Supervisor. The supervisor, good. Okay. Supervisor. Good. Who is in charge of checking the quality of products? Quality control, control inspector. Quality good. control. Yeah, we know. Very good. Quality control inspector. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay, who is in charge of, uh, oh, sorry, who is responsible for repairing the problems of, mach of the machine? I think uh, safety engineer. You were department hmm? maintenance personnel. Maintenance personnel. Mm -hmm. Maintenance personnel. To repairing the problems? Yeah. Maybe. Repairing the problem of some machines. Um, I think computer farming. Yeah. The maintenance what? shift. Maintenance shift. Mm, no. Because maintenance, what is maintenance? Mantenimiento. Mm, yeah. But here we're talking more about uh, uh, the people that, uh, like, like the 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 part of the of the people like the that clean and things like that. So that's yeah. that's yeah. So yeah. those like like janitors and things like that. So yeah. probably not them. 
If they have Safe, a... safety engineer, no. My name personal. My name personal. Mm -hmm. No. Maintenance no. personnel are the people that clean. They are not responsible for for uh for mantenimiento pero de limpieza. Ajá, ¿eh? uh -huh, exacto. O sea, ellos no tienen nada que ver con las máquinas. So, machine operators. Mm, I don't think I miss. Huh? Sorry. Hi, uh -huh. Miss. Sorry, I, I I have a problem with my uh, with my connection. Oh, okay. Sorry, I'm Car I'm Carlos. Okay, no Sorry. problem. It's okay. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, so you finish. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> so, who would be responsible? Uh, I think safety engineers, but I don't know. Yeah, I agree. It'd be the safety engineers. <clears throat> yeah, it, and the reason is because, first of all, okay, so the machine operators, they just operate it. They have no idea about engineering. They just operate it. They just know how to work the machine, okay? Now, then they are, they, um, it, sorry, they're accountable, or sorry, they, um, yeah, the people that are responsible for them is the supervisor, but the supervisor just overlooks the work, right? Now, who really knows about it is the engineer himself, who is above the supervisor. So that would be the safety engineer. Does that make sense? Yes? Do we understand? Yes. Yeah? Okay. Who is accountable for selling the products? Sell is the department. Sell is department. Sell is the department. Yeah. Sales department. And who is in charge of assisting the assemblers? Miss, how, how do how do pronounce the that word? Uh, sell, sellers, sales, 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 sales. Yes, uh, sales. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. So, who's in charge of assisting the assemblers? Supervisor. Yeah, very good. Supervisor yeah. is the one in front. Mm -hmm. Right here. Okay. Supervisor. And finally, the last question is, who is accountable for managing the whole operation? General manager. General manager. Right. General manager. Yeah. yeah. So if something goes wrong, if anything, basically, if anything goes wrong here, right? Anything goes wrong in this area, the one that needs to uh, be responsible for everything is the general manager. That's why he's accountable for. Okay. Él es el que rinde cuenta de todo eso. Okay. Yeah, never mind. Yeah. Um, teacher, um, it's correct to say the sales department is accountable for selling. Um, I question because uh, if a machine is not working properly, uh, maybe the product don't will not selling. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I guess. It's the... Yeah, but they're only it's accountable some... for the sales, right? They're not accountable for the actual product itself. Okay. 
So they're not responsible for making the product. They have nothing to do with the product itself. They just want, okay. they're just making money for the company. But if a machine is not working good, um, uh -huh. and uh, how do you say, a causa de esto? Because of that? Because of that, um, the, um, the mer merchant is, is not delivered to, to customer. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. um, they know, uh, how do you say, no habrán ventas? There won't be any sales. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. But that's not their problem. Okay. They're, they're, that, that's like, that's out of their, their hands, right? It, to give you, to give you an example. Okay. okay. Uh, I am responsible. I am accountable for the academic part of this class. Okay? okay. So I'm I'm responsible for for giving you the academic lessons. But what happens if the platform is not working correctly? I can't it's, your fault. it's not my fault because it, it, I have nothing to do with 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 um with the platform uh, because that's administration. Right, I don't okay. know anything about the actual um, way that the how they have uh, the configurations, for example, for the platform. I have no idea about that. I, the only thing I can do is report something. I can report it, but I'm not accountable for the for the platform. Okay, so okay. what so what we have to do is if there's something wrong with the platform is we have to find the people that are accountable for the platform. And in that case, it would be administration, right? We have actually tech support, specifically tech support of the administration. You must, define, you must find a, a, a responsible of the, the platform. Exactly. Right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, you are only accountable for your area whatever is below you but you cannot be accountable for something that's beside you or above you so that's why okay. so that's why the general manager is accountable for for all of the operation because all of these people are below him but the sales department cannot be responsible for the machine operators because they are not below them. Okay. In fact, they're more like beside them. And the maintenance personnel cannot be accountable for whatever the quality control inspector does because he's above him. Okay, so you can only be accountable for something that is below you, not above you, and not beside you. Does that make sense? Yes, yes. Okay, perfect. Yes. yes. All right. Good. What I, <laughs> excuse me. After this lesson, <laughs> what I really need you guys to um, remember is that after Prepositions we use. What do we use? ING. Exactly. ING form. That's the most important part of this lesson. <laughs> okay. Just, the, the, just the proposition four and two. I no. don't remember two. No. Uh, four. No. no. Off. No. Four and off. Off. Of, ah, okay. Okay. Thank yes, you. but Thank not you. only. Not only. Yes, we use it after those prepositions, but not only after them. Those were the only examples. Okay? Sounds good? Not okay. only for... Yes. Uh, and for, not only, that yeah. two word. For all prepositions. It's actually for all prepositions. Uh -huh. Okay? But those in particular, those verbs in particular, are the ones that are very closely related to organizational char 
charts. That's why we're using them. Okay. 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 So guys, we have come to the end of our class. Told you that it was going to go by very quickly. Um, so I'm going to just take attendance before we go. Um, Ana Victoria Galán. Present teacher. Wonderful. Asalia Melanie Portillo. Present teacher. Wonderful. Carlos Albert, Alberto Orrego. I'm here, teacher. Wonderful. Carlos Elicier Dimas. I hear me. Excellent. Thank you. Um, uh, Denise Alejandro Zuniga. Present. Excellent. Uh, Diana Jamilet Maravilla. Present. Excellent. Uh, Edith Adilia Hernandez. Present. Excellent. Thank you. Um, Emerson uh, Adil Reyes. Emerson. Ismael Ernesto Boyat. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Jorge Ernesto Hernandez. Present teacher. Good. Marlon Daniel Miranda. Present. Excellent. Um, Mayra Elizabeth Lazo. Present teacher. Excellent. Raquel Elizabeth de la Rosa. Present. Sandra Yvette Mendoza. Present teacher. Great. Um, Present. Uh, Sara Rachel uh, Salazar. Present. Excellent. Uh, Sergio Chamorro Calero. Present teacher. Excellent. Eh, Vilma Elizabeth Aquian. Present. Okay, very good. Okay, guys, um, hoy me quedaría ahí con, uh, quiero ver, Carlos Alberto Orrego, okay? Y de ahí, todos los demás, I will see you guys tomorrow, okay? okay. All right. Okay. Take care, guys. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night. Okay. Hello, Carlos. Hello, Miss. Okay. Um, so is there something that I can help you with? Something um that you're having problems with right now? Um I I in fact I have a question. Uh, I have a question for for my the platform with the uh, learning app uh, platform of design. Um, Sorry, the, for, for what? The access, uh, la plataforma de aprendizaje. Okay. The platform. Yes, I have a question. I I don't know. Uh, and, uh, I don't know. It's the number four. And the okay. number four. Oh, yes. what, what, what exercise exactly? What is the number of the exercise? Um... The sentence, the sentence is uh no, no. I mean, like the actual number, like is we are in section one. Are we talking about section one, two, three, four? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, section one, the number four is okay. So is, is it section one? Yes, one. So it would be one point four. Is that correct? Mm, yes, point four. Yes, one point four. If uh yes uh the, the sentence uh, the the sentence start. Uh, if if um, I I don't remember, I don't remember, but if the point uh, it's a point four, section one point four. Okay, so <coughs> um, so is it this one? Uh, let me see. Yes, 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 this is, yes, it is. Uh, okay. I don't know what, uh, uh, what, uh, I don't know. No, 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 no sé qué es lo que me, me piden. <laughs> Ahí como, 
Um, uh, the thing is that we haven't seen this um, this part yet. Okay, so mm. this this vocabulary is but this is talking about vocabulary. Okay, so um, we haven't seen we haven't talked about this vocabulary just yet. Um, if I'm not mistaken, mm. that's going to be for tomorrow. Okay, mm -hmm. so basically, okay. Um, that those are talking about values, values that people have at work, for example, or well, not just at work, but um, yeah. So, it, for example, responsibility is a value, right? Or, mm -hmm. uh, for example, loyalty is a value. Okay, so that that's what it's talking about. Yeah, but um, that vocabulary we haven't seen just yet. Um, so we, uh, so if you want, you can try it, or, or you can wait until tomorrow, to to see it. Okay. I okay. try to I try to do I try to do tomorrow. Mm -hmm. well, okay. Okay. Um, okay. Don't worry. I is uh, I is a is a oh. Is, is is this is this is this all? <laughs> Just a question of uh, I had. Mm, okay. 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 Um. So everything else is okay. Everything else is clear, Carlos. Yes. Yes. In the class, in the class is very, very okay. nice. Um, okay. I mean, I re I recorded the. Uh, many things, many things. Uh, you're, you're, remem <laughs> you're remembering, you're remembering yes, many things. Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, no, I, yes. You're, you're exactly. doing good. You're doing very well. So, and um, yeah, I'm, I'm sure all of that, all of that knowledge is coming back to you. Yeah. I know, I know it's, it's difficult at yeah. the beginning, right? It's difficult when um, it, you, it, 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 when, yeah, at the beginning that you feel that you have, you forgot everything, but then you start remembering, right? It starts coming back to you. Yes, and, I know. Yes, yeah. I know. Yeah, and, yes. and I, and I, and I definitely you. think that you're doing very good. I, I, I um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure you're going to, by the end of this course, you're going to be super fast. <laughs> it will, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. Is there anything else okay. that I, I can help you with? Everything, everything clear, everything. Okay. Okay. It's all. I, I think it's all. Okay, perfect. Yes. <laughs> all right. In that Thank case, you, um, you're welcome. And uh, we'll see each other tomorrow. Uh, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I think I, I see tomorrow. Yeah. Or, or do you have something? Yeah. Do you have something tomorrow that you're not going to be able to be in class or something? Uh, what? It, it you will be in class tomorrow. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, sure. good. Okay, yeah. excellent. Okay, so then I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. All right. Take care. Then. Bye. Okay. Bye. Bye. bye.